So today, today we're gonna go for the candy kiss. Candy kiss, um, the typical scent of this is mint. It's very minty. Me and Mike once made very minty eggnog around Christmas and that's what this reminds me of. Like very minty. Yeah, and nothing, nothing mixed in there. You know, scent wise, it's just the mint. But uh, not like the cheap mint. It's, it's this mint that makes you happy. It's not like a cheap minty uh, chemical scent or anything. It's, it's, it's really good. It really makes you happy. Ah, I just want to keep smelling it as is. <laughs> but yeah, here it goes. Again, so all the candles that we've been sharing with you, just these, these, just, you know, they're meant as fun, short reviews, but there are honest reviews. All of these candles that we've been sharing with you so far, the Creek, uh, the Goose Creek candles, whether it's the Winter Splen Splendor or the Jingle Bells or the Christmas Village, we all have this scent that lingers even the next day around the home, around your home. So that I love that about these. The scent does linger even the next day, even when it's not burning. Because we burn these in the evening. You know, when we're sitting down, we've done the chores, we, we, we're ready with everything. And then we light these up, these uh, wax melts. So when we go uh, to bed, of course, we... Uh, blow the candle out, but when we wake up the next morning, there's always this nice lingering scent that welcomes you into your living room as you come to the living room again to enjoy your breakfast. So love that about that side effect. So this one is again, the candy cane kiss. Oh, there it is. Yeah, because that's what we used for the eggnog. We used, we crushed candy, uh, minty canes, candy canes, we crushed them and then we sprinkled them a little bit through the eggnog and it was really good like that so guys we're still making pumpkin soup this is the essence of that we oui? okay mike's been making pumpkin soup and oh. i've been watching from the side yeah but i am going to make lunch <laughs> although he's been he's been at it for two and a half hours so from the two and a half kilograms of pumpkin this okay, is what well, you get you carve the pumpkin i so. carved the pumpkin yeah i cut it so yeah, you cut and it, i cleaned ma it the whole thing so this is it uh we do not like running pumpkin soup so if you're looking at it you like what's that this is a more a little bit more solid pumpkin soup exactly the way we like it with some uh fresh um fresh bread it's just it's crazy crazy good there it is and now that it's done, we're gonna wait for it a little bit and then mix some um, spicy uh, uh, cheese, cheese. cheese through it. Like I said, the secret ingredient. Oh, what I wanted to say actually, why I'm, I'm filming this is, guys, if you wanna enjoy these vegetables of the season, uh, you wanna, you're thinking about making a pumpkin soup, don't wait too long because the more you approach winter, Gouda. it's good at cheese. Yeah, normally, uh, Mike, this is one of Mike's um, <clears throat> mom's uh, recipe, got uh, rest of soul. So, uh, what Mike usually uses is a different kind, but they were out. This is all I could find. I normally do the Swiss cheese. He, he normally does the, cheese. yeah, the Swiss cheese, but he didn't have that. So, it's a bit, it's, it's got a bit of a sweet, yeah. nutty taste. A little bit sweet, nutty, spicy. But, like I said, it's not easy to get by. Uh, it, it does. It's not laying there always in the, the grocery shelf. So, uh, you know, sometimes you have to grab whatever you can grab. So that's the main ingredient. That's the secret ingredient, I should say. Secret ingredient is this one. Love it. But yeah, guys, don't wait too long Cheese with making. Makes made... everything delicious. Yeah. <laughs> don't wait too long. Don't wait too long with making a pumpkin soup because the more you approach winter, the less flavor, the less taste the pumpkin will have. There it is. Oh, light on the menu. The light is on. No, we're actually done. Oh. So the candle has been burning for about five hours, maybe, and the scent is consistent and it's really good. It's still that really nice uh, pepperminty yeah. uh, scent. This one I really like. This one we really like. Yes.